creating new notebooks in OneNote. Let's create a new OneNote uh, notebook so you can see the purpose and benefits behind using a notebook in OneNote. When I go to File and choose New here on the left side, I am asked to fill in three steps. Where do I want to store the notebook? Maybe on a website. How about a network that uh, you're sharing with others? Or on your own computer? And I'm going to select that right now. What is the name of your new notebook? OGC Travels. Remember, when we create notebooks, folks, those notebooks are actually going to be our file folders. I've typed in my name of my folder, and now I have to decide where that folder is going to be placed. I'm going to work with this default location so that I'll know that that folder, OGC Travels, is going to be um, housed in my OneNote notebooks in this path here. Finally, I'm going to click on Create Notebook. And once I do that, you can see that the name of the notebook is called OGC Travels. My page is untitled right now, and my section doesn't have a name. You can rename your sections by right-clicking and choosing Rename. I'm going to enter in Tour Packages. And once I've done that, you can see how the cursor returns to that first placeholder, which happens to be the untitled page name currently. So let's give it a uh, name for this page. And when I'm typing in Asia, you can see how that is the name of the page over here on the right side. I could direct the mouse over here on New Page and create a whole new page. And at this point, I'm going to actually click here where it says Untitled Page. And once I click over here on the left side, you can see the cursor returns. You can see uh, how I've added new pages. Europe, Africa, and India. Now we're going to add in more sections. Up at the top, remember we've got tour packages as one of our sections. When I position my mouse here on this little tab, hover over it, I can see create a new section and I'm going to do so. Once I've clicked on new section, I can type in the next new section name, accommodation. Oops, made a mistake. So I can right click and choose rename. Now I've fixed it. I'm going to add in a couple more sections. Once I've added the three additional sections, you can see these tab up, tabs up at the top. About Us is the section that's currently in view, and we have no pages yet in this section. Here I'm going to quickly create a page called Our Global Company, and that's going to be our first page so far in this section. The Process tab is going to have one page called Booking Process, and that's as far as I'm going to go right now. I'm going to take a look in the navigation bar to see so far the structure of my notebook. I can go over here to this right arrow and when I click on the expand navigation bar I can see a directory of sorts listing me all of the sections that I have in OGC Travels notebook. If I want I can collapse so that I can just see the name of the notebook or I can expand and see all of my sections here. To browse to one tab to another, I can certainly just click on any one of these tabs and it will bring forward that section. But what about going back to where I was before? It's not necessarily one tab to the left because I could have been from about us to accommodation and then over to process and I want to see historically where I was. Up on the quick access toolbar, the first command is the back button. Feels like a back button when you're browsing on the internet, let's say. When I click on back, it's going to take me back to wherever I was and whatever I was doing at that time. The forward command isn't by default on the quick access toolbar, so I'm just simply going to go to my customize area on my quick access toolbar, and when I click on that down arrow, check off forward, and now I've got forward and backward available for me to navigate. So to quickly review, how do you create a new notebook? You go to File, New, Decide where you're going to store the notebook and give it a good folder name and it will be um, located here in this path and then I click on create notebook. I've typed in work as my name of my new folder and when I click on create new notebook 
I've got a work um, notebook ready for me with new sections and new pages. From here, I can add new sections by working with this tab here, create a new section. I can rename sections by right-clicking and choosing rename. And then once I have worked with sections, I can certainly create new pages by clicking on new page, but first naming this current page by typing in the name of the page here and it will, will give it a page name and it will be visible over here. I've typed in meetings and you can see how meetings is the new page under my new section. I'll rename this new section as meetings and then perhaps my first page will be called January 10, 2011 and that's the name of my new page. So that's my first meeting I want to add information to. Let's add one more section to complete the, the review on how to create notebooks, sections, and pages. I'll type in project as the name of the new section and then in here I'll type in a project name. Listed on the left side in the navigation pane you can see my notebook contains these two sections that echo these names up here on my tabs and anytime you need to create more sections continue on by using this create a new section tab.